Good morning class 9 students. Here today I am discussing about conservation of linear momentum. What is momentum? Already we have discussed in previous time. Momentum is equal to P is equal to M into V. If P is the momentum, P is equal to mass into velocity. And linear means when a body or two bodies moving in a straight line. That's it. And conservation means actually we have to prove that total momentum before collision of two bodies and the momentum, total momentum after collision of two bodies, both are equal. Okay? So, let's start. First, I am telling you conservation of linear momentum, you have to prove from this. First of all, that this thing, total momentum are same before the collision and after the collision. And the second one, we have to prove from this conservation of linear momentum law, we have to prove the second law of motion. That means Newton's second law. That means F is equal to A into A. So let's start. First, see, two bodies. Mass of first body is our ball. You can say it's a ball. So mass of first ball is M1 and mass of second ball is M2. Now, velocity. Initial velocity of first ball is U1 and initial velocity of second ball is U2. So, collision happens. This is that direction, positive direction. That's why F, that is force is positive and that is opposite direction. That's it. That's why minus F, that means force is negative. Now, the next one, after collision, again they are getting first ball, mass M1 and velocity, a new velocity, that is final velocity it has got, that is V1. And for the second ball, M2 and velocity is V2. M2 is the mass and velocity, the final velocity is V2. Now let's start. Now see, rate of change of momentum of first ball. First ball, rate of change, that means M1, V1, that means this is the momentum of after collision of first ball, minus M1, U1, that means momentum of before collision of first ball divided by T. Rate of change, that's why divided by T. This is only the force. Your momentum, a rate of change of momentum is only the force. That's why we can write F is equal to, this is positive, I told you, because it is going to that direction. So F is equal to M1, V1 minus M1, V1 divided by T. This is number one equation. Why? Because from second law of motion, generally we got this. That F is equal to rate of change of momentum. That is, that's why I have written from here that is F is equal to this. Now similarly for the second ball, minus F because this direction after collision it is moving. That's why minus F is equal to M2 V2 minus M1 U1, M2 U2 divided by T. Minus F is equal to this. That's why in the next step we can write F is equal to minus this. This is the second equation. Now, F is equal to that from 1 and F is equal to this from 2. So, both are equal. That's why therefore both are equal. Now, T, T will be reduced and M1, V1 plus M2, V2 because this minus sign it will uh, open the brackets. It is coming minus M2, V2. When it will come to this side, it will become plus. So, M1, V1 plus M2, V2 is equal to M1, U1. When this will go to that side, it will become minus. This, this minus side will become plus. So, plus M1, U1 plus minus minus plus M2, U2. Now, I am just writing, therefore, M1, U1 plus M2, U2 is equal to M1, V1 plus M2, V2. That means, ultimately prove that the momentum of the before collision is equal to momentum of after collision. Now the second proof. From one equation, you can say that F is equal to, if I have kept M1 common, so it is coming V1 minus U1 by T, V minus U by T is acceleration. So instead of that, I can write M1, U1, F for acceleration, 
That means in general I can write A is equal to A B to A. And that is the second law of motion. That is force is equal to mass into acceleration. So conservation of linear momentum this much. You have to prove these two things. Now plus 9 students. I am giving you some formula of this chapter force and motion. S is equal to B to T. B square is equal to Q square plus minus 2AS. B is equal to Q plus minus AT. S is equal to UT plus 1 by 2 AT square. F is equal to A into A. B is equal to minus M by N into B. That is small b. These two Bs are different. S means S is equal to the total displacement. B is equal to capital B is equal to velocity of one body and small b is equal to velocity of another body. U is equal to initial velocity and this B is equal to final velocity. Plus A is equal to acceleration minus A is equal to deceleration. And T is equal to time, always measure in seconds. Now apply this 